The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And they'll start the drive here with an end around. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. At the 17 yard line. now is Murray. Out to the right here to Shepard. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. That ball caught, it's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And they're gonna get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they wanna move the ball around. They wanna spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Throwing on first down is Murray. Escaping the pressure right, and he'll just get rid of it. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, Frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Brown, oh, he lost the football. And the defense not able to get it. From, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You've probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Now Murray sliding out of the pocket. And Murray with a smart move there at the end of the play, picks up the first down and then slides to the ground. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. A first carry now for Adrian Peterson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, second and 12. They're looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. Room here to run. 
And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Let's go, boys. Let's go. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage, and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction, had some blocking, and picked up a touchdown. Taking it about the one. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Sooner offense back out, ready for their next possession. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play too. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Murray going to throw. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to again amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. And Murray staying put for now. They'll go for it on fourth down. Murray and company going for it on full. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll make it second down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Working with a second and three. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Touchdown! Odell Beckham, a five-yard touchdown. And the Tigers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And no matter how it comes about, when you get good field position, you have to make the defense pay. Short fields usually make for good offense. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Out is the Oklahoma offense ready for their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain, <laughs> so now they've got to come back. Touchdown! Mark Andrews, 70 yards. And the Sooners are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. 
They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. it usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he will be brought out here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Now a throw here to his running back. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now Burrow, that's caught by his tight end, Foster Moreau. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end, it's just gonna be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. First down, here's Burrow. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. And I could see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called his penalties. Throwing again on second and 10, Burrow. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. And that's patience to be admired right there because he looks left, looks right, and waits for the right guy to come open, spots him in the middle of the field, and delivers. Again, it's Burrow. Buying time to his left. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Joe Burrow, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Tigers are able to add on to that lead. Extra point attempt to follow here. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to score. The LSU Tigers, 21. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Sooner offense back out, ready for their next possession. And they've got just over 50 seconds to go till halftime, so they can try to put something. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So now it appears they're going to accept the penalty, which means take away the interception, also means keep your defense on the field. 
Don't understand this one one bit. They start the drive with Peterson. And it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. From the gun, Murray. He's going deep for Brown. And this throw will be intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And a big turnover there as his guy.